Replenish your dopamine supply. Five easy ways during your porn brain rewire. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. In this video, we are going to quickly talk about number one, what is dopamine and how does it become depleted when you watch porn? Then we're going to talk about number two, five easy ways that you can replenish your dopamine supply so you can feel and perform better in your life. Okay, so let's dig in. Number one, what's dopamine and how does it become depleted? Dopamine is a very important neurotransmitter in your brain that is associated with learning, motivation, and pleasure. So basically, the behaviors that you engage in that give you pleasure become those behaviors linked in your brain neurochemically to pleasure. And so when you get so much pleasure from a porn session, what happens is you are desensitizing the reward center in your brain by basically flooding it with dopamine and depleting the supply of dopamine in your brain and body. So that's why after you get done watching porn, you feel numbed out, you feel hazy, you feel good, but it's artificially uh, created, but you feel like you have been toasted right? So the reason that is, is because of this dopamine depletion. So what we need to do so you can feel good again in your life is to replenish your dopamine. So let's talk about the five easy ways. And then I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that we will also be training your brain to get dopamine in the world from your real life. So you don't need to go into the screen to get dopamine anymore. Okay. So five easy ways. Number one, exercise. So if you don't have a consistent exercise habit, I encourage you to get one going today. Crank some workouts. Not only does it give your brain dopamine, but it gives your brain and body all of the perfect neurochemical cocktail, all the neurotransmitters you need to feel and perform great. And I know that it can be difficult to drag yourself to do a workout, but man, is it worth it. And a twofer is if you can go outside, be in nature and be in sunlight while you're getting your workout in, because we know that there's vitamin D from sun therapy and being outside attunes your brain to the natural, calm, focused state of nature. So it really becomes a threefer. Is that a word? But go work out outside. What I do is I pull all my stuff out. Thankfully, my home has a driveway in the back. So it's kind of like having concrete in the backyard where nobody can see me work out, except for the dudes who are building the house across uh, the way, which hopefully they will be done soon, but I've gotten used to them. So nobody can really watch me work out, but I'll pull out the bench and the weights. I pull out the general, my boxing dummy. I pull out my yoga mat. I crank a workout outside every single day. Thankfully, where I live in North Carolina, it's beautiful most days of the year, so I'm able to do that year round. Sun, nature, and a great workout. And then I couple it with the next thing, music. I crank up the tunes all day, every day in different capacities. So I like to put on light jazz to ease myself into the day. When I'm working out, I have an awesome workout playlist or I use all the um, services, but on Spotify, I'll check out the workout playlists that are there. I'll go old school, 90s workout, 2000s workout playlist, super fun. I will crank up those tunes. One of my new favorite tunes, Unstoppable by Sia. I know what you're thinking. That's not new, Dr. Trish, because that's the exact same thing my daughter said when I said my new jam is Unstoppable. She's like, Mama, that's not new. And I'm like, I know, but it's new to me. I've been playing it on repeat. Now here's how you can be successful in your workout. Body weight training and cardio. Don't overthink it. If you don't work out, you don't need the bench. You don't need the weights. You don't need the general. All you need is your body and you can do it in the clothes you're wearing. You don't even need to change. That's the beauty of this. Body weight training is just using your own body weight as the heavy thing that you're using to give your muscles uh, some tension and to be able to crank up the electrical energy in your body and your brain, get blood flowing, get everything going. So 
push-ups. Your go-to is push-ups. Nothing more simple than dropping right next to your desk and cranking as many push-ups as you can. Working out to exhaustion, meaning that you work harder and longer than you think you can, can really crank the neurochemicals into your system and make you feel great. Replenish that dopamine. Cardio, at the same time, you can do jumping jacks, you can do high knees running in place, you can just jog in place, you can skip rope or you can skip imaginary rope. Easy peasy, get the body moving. Cardio, body weight training. Crank up the tunes, get some sun, get outside. Okay, let's move on from there. Eating healthy, which obviously goes along with a healthy lifestyle. So I've told you before, ditch the crinkly bags and don't eat anything in a crinkly bag. But let's take it one more step here. Another thing that you can do is to eat bananas. They're naturally high in dopamine and they will help you feel great. At the same time, eating nuts or nut butter can help you also. So but bananas with peanut butter or almond butter are, is very healthy for you. It's a great mix of protein and of carbs. Um, don't eat the overly ripe bananas. Go towards underly ripe, that's a word, because they have less sugar in them. So that's a great snack. Protein, carbs, gonna keep you feeling great and get some dopamine into your system also while, we're, while we are replenishing your dopamine. Next, brain training. Train your brain with your Muse headband. When your brain is existing out in the extremes of too much slow speed that creates overwhelm and fatigue, and too much fast speed that makes you feel anxious and overdrive, go, 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 hypervigilant, stressed out, the best thing that you can do is to get your brain out of this mode. This is cortisol presumed producing mode. When you train your brain using the Muse headband, you're bringing these extremes towards the middle, towards medium speed of calm focus. When you're in this flow state and the zone in the middle, you will be making more dopamine on a general basis. You will feel calm and focused and your brain will thank you. The link for the Muse headband is below. I use mine all the time to stay in this healthy spot so I don't feel all jacked up and stressed out. I keep my brain in the middle by using my Muse headband consistently. In this link that's below, you can purchase it directly from the manufacturer, but this exclusive link for being part of my community gets 15% off for you. I would love for you to use this headband. I have people using it all over the world. If you're interested in having your brain graphs that you see in the headband interpreted for you. We offer a service at Dr. Trish Lee and Company, brain map, brain, sorry, brain graph check-ins, brain check-ins. So reach out drtrishlee.com because we'd love to help you understand what your brain is doing and how you can get and keep it in the middle. Okay, so after you're done brain training, your last, last number five, we're on number five ways of replenishing your dopamine is to get physical touch and intimacy. So when you hug someone or when you're snuggling on the couch, that's very healthy ways of getting dopamine. You also get serotonin for happiness and oxytocin for connection, which that's what your brain is looking for when it goes into the screen. This way, hug somebody. I grew up in a home where physical touch wasn't a thing and my brothers and sisters, my parents never hugged. They still don't. Uh, but thankfully, I also married someone who is really good at physical touch. And he's taught me over the years to, to hug people and to touch people. And honestly, he's a close talker. It's gotten him in trouble sometimes. He never watches my video, so he won't know that I'm telling you this. But that man comes in close and he will hug anybody, he'll touch anybody, even in COVID. I'm like, dude, you can't touch people like that during COVID. And he's like, COVID schmovid. And then he goes in for the hug and people are like, dude, you're too close. But he's really good at physical touch. And so what it does is it brings connection to me and to all of our kids. And he's taught me to hug my kids more and to, to hold their hands and to sit close without it feeling uncomfortable. 
magical in terms of replenishing your dopamine. So go snuggle with the honey, go hug your kids, give your grandma a hug. Physical touch is so important. So go out there and touch somebody and hug somebody that you love so you can replenish the dopamine. Now, before we wrap it up, remember we're also talking about a porn brain rewire. So let's just go down those five one more time and think about how you can use these five strategies to replenish your dopamine as a way to consistently get dopamine from your real life so your brain won't want to or need to go into the screen. So number one is exercise. If you build a habit of exercise daily, daily you'll be giving your brain dopamine from the world in a healthy way. So get your exercise routine planned and schedule it in. Go outside, crank the body weight training, and the cardio, get some sun, be in nature. Boom, exercise, number one. Number two is music. Crank up your favorite kind of music, even if it's classical music. I love to put on classical music. I put on Pachelbel's Canon in D to relax in the evening. I'll put on different types of jazz music. Really love jazz, it's so good, it's so um, complex and has calming and stimu stimulating factors to it. So does classical music. Or you can just crank up some M&M. Yep, still on my M&M. Okay, eat healthy. Remember, you can get a combination of bananas and healthy nuts like almond almonds to be able to give your brain protein and healthy carbs for sustained energy and a boost of dopamine. If you eat healthy fruits and vegetables with healthy fat and healthy protein on a daily basis and you stay away from the junk food, your brain and body get more dopamine that is sustained and stable. It's not getting the highs and the lows from unhealthy fat, from simple carbs that burn down to sugar, from junk food. Stabilize the system and your dopamine will be stable also and you won't have to replenish it. Brain training. Get the headband if it's in the cards for you. People tell me all the time they don't know how but they know that the headband is helping them to feel better. It's because the headband's bringing their brain into this medium mode and so that they are feeling better on a daily basis. Calm and focused in the zone. The headband will help you. Lastly, don't forget, give somebody a hug. Become a hugger. I was introduced to someone, uh, I'm trying to think when it was, and my friend Chanel said, you know, I kind of went in like, hi, because you don't know these days in COVID, and the person kind of leaned in, and then they're like, oh, sorry, and Chanel goes, don't worry, she's a hugger too. Be a hugger. Okay. If you're looking for help on this journey, please reach out drtrishlee.com. We'd love to help you. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.